Hello everyone, this is AppleAndApps.com and we have a brand new in action video for you today. It covers Combo Crew. It comes from the Game Bakers, they make Squids and Squids Wild West. And this one, it's a fast paced brawler game where you're going and punching an overload of enemies on screen. The major selling point is that the entire interface is gesture based. Start. So rather than having directional buttons or virtual controls, you simply swipe on an enemy to attack them. And then when they have the little arrow above their head, that means they're going to attack you. So you just simply tap the screen. Oh, I'm looking at <laughs> And then you can do a counterattack, like so. Now you can also charge your attacks by swiping and then holding your finger. And then you can do a two finger swipe for a special combo. So you can two finger swipe in any direction. So you can two finger swipe up, and then you can two finger swipe down, and then left and right. And each one gives you a different type of animation and attack. And since this is a combo based game, you're trying to build up that combo as much as you possibly can. And that's by stringing attacks together. So that was just like an introductory level to show you how the game is. So let's get into a bit tougher level. We'll try this one. Pick the same character. Okay. Start. So now we're gonna have multifaceted waves. If you're busy on an attack and you press the counterattack, it's not going to be in time. So you can attack them before they actually do the counterattack, which stops their attack, which is a nice little addition. Let's build up this combo since this is combo cool after all. On fire. There's some nice. Damn. <laughs> There's some nice devastating attacks on this game. You can really get some good action. In. And it's so easy to control all the action on the screen. I mean, you got five enemies, and it's just effortless to attack them all. Game Bakers have done a great job. And not just shoehorning in classic controls. Like they could do some type of uh, Street Fighter type of huge joystick and like a big button assortment, but they don't need to. They can actually be innovative rather than shoehorning in the past. And the method really lets you focus on the fighting action a lot more. Okay, now we'll go into the next level, which I believe is a boss battle. Yes. Start. Okay. Some bosses. Awesome. Terrible. And the problem with the counter attack is that you're so caught up into these other attacks that you can just completely miss that you need that counter attack. And then it ruins your whole combo chain, your score for the level, and you also have a special ability that's based on building up your combo. Awesome. As you can see in the upper left corner, <laughs> There's a blue meter, and when you fill that up, you get a special attack. And that's what I'm trying to do to show you what exactly that means. Awful. And I keep messing up. It's, I guess, you just get so caught up in doing all these different attacks, and they're mainly these double swipe gestures. So the character has to completely before, perform them before it can do the actual counter attack. <laughs> Okay. Got the combo up above 60. 70. 
Damn it. I was trying to do the counter attack. It showed yellow because it was still pending as I'm doing the other attacks. Very disheartening. And you should be able to override that if you want to. And that's what happens when you're being on a gesture driven control. You can't exactly distinguish them from the so the game is filled with content. In addition to the actual main campaign mode where you're battling up this tower of, you know, enemies that you go floor by floor moving your way up, there's an endless mode. So we'll jump out to the main menu. There's the endless mode, and then you can also connect with friends and uh, this is through Facebook rather than Game Center, uh, but it does let you have kind of do a co-op action if you do get stuck in endless mode. And then the main tower, you can see that there's multiple levels per different environment, and that's pretty much Combo Crew. We'll jump into one more level in a brand new environment, and we'll play with a different character this time because they have unique attacks. Start. And let's get back into it. The power attack is nice. That's how you let go of some frustration. Also when you're doing that power attack, you can knock one character into others, which is a nice addition. There's also the ability, let's see if I can pull this up, you can swipe up and it launches your character into, or the enemy into the air, and then you can swipe while they're in the air to do a juggling attack. And they keep coming over to do a counter attack in the middle of them. Like that. Okay. There we go. This is essentially what the game has to offer. There's boosts and permanent upgrades you can call. Unlocked just by earning coins. As you can see, after I defeated a few enemies, coins pile up. Now this is just a classic beat 'em up style that's been redone for iOS for touch controls, and you can't help but appreciate that. So combo crew. Let's go back out. So you can go to the shop, the perks, these are permanent upgrades, and then boosters are temporary little things to help you in the endless mode. And that's Combo Crew. We hope you enjoyed our Apple and Apps in action video.